Today we're gonna check out how to doodle on models with a lot of funky colors and patterns here in Photoshop. Okay, so the first step is we're gonna select the brush and you can right click here. Here you can select the brush types, by the way, you get hard. And of course I'm gonna use the graphic pen for this. And let's say I gotta go with this one and I also gonna go and create a new layer so I won't paint on the original layer. And as you can see, it doesn't have any pressure sensitivity and the stroke thickness remain the same when I press the pan. So let's fix that. Let's go to the brush settings and we're going to go to shape dynamics and let's go to the control. And here we got it off and let's select the pan pressure. Let's try it out again and check it out. It has pressure sensitivity. I'm going to delete this layer and make a new one. And I'm gonna go and select some light color. I'm gonna go with a pink, a strong pink, because I'm gonna go and recolor the headphones. And I'm gonna need some strong color so it's gonna be visible. And first on this layer, I'm gonna make the outlines. I'm also gonna rename it as outlines. And all you need to do is just paint over it and make the outlines something like this. It doesn't need to be perfect, just have fun. But as you can see, it's kind of imperfect and it's really hard to make these circles. I'm going to press and hold the letter R. So it's going to show up like this and you can drag the mouse and rotate. So I'm going to rotate it upside down and this way I can draw the circle, hopefully with more ease because this way it's more natural for the hand. Now it won't necessarily work for the first go. You can press Ctrl Z anytime and do it again. And I'm going to do the left one as well and rotate it back. You can press and hold shift and it's gonna lock it however you like. Now if you don't like some of the parts in the sketch, you always can delete it. You can select the erase tool and you can erase some of the parts that you don't like. All right, so the headphone looks great. I wanna make it black now. So I'm gonna go to the outlines layer, double click on and let's select the color overlay. And here you can select any colors you like. I'm gonna go with black, click OK, OK. And now I'm gonna select the background. Let's create a new layer. I'm gonna rename this as fill. And here on the fill, I'm gonna paint the interior of the headphone. So I'm gonna make it pink. I'm gonna choose a pink color and I'm gonna go with this, select the brush and just start painting it. Okay, so after you're done, we're gonna go to the fill layer, click on it. And now let's go to the fill color and we're gonna change it to some darker and we're gonna go and add some shading. So let's select the brush tool and fill it up with shading. I also gonna rotate it and I'm gonna start from here. Go something like this. So this way we're gonna add some really nice contrast to the doodle. If you don't like some of the areas, you can select the eyedropper tool, click on the lighter pink, select the brush, and this way you can erase the unwanted areas. Okay, so now but least we're gonna add some light shading. So let's select the fill, and I'm gonna go with some really light color, and I'm just gonna paint at the light areas. There you go. I'm also gonna try to repaint the clothes and add some sunglasses. And for those, I'm gonna make some new layers and paint them on separate layers. And I'm also gonna put the outline and the fill of the headphone in a folder. So I'm gonna go down, select the folder, select these two and drag and drop into the folder, collapse, rename and continue with the other layers. Okay, so this came out pretty wild. I mean, the clothing has like a lot of patterns, a lot of colors in it. So when you wanna put the shading, I recommend to create a new layer and I'm gonna double click, rename it as shading. And here I'm gonna select the black or something dark, click OK. Select the brush tool and for example, I'm going to paint something here. Basically, it's going to make it black right now. But what you can do is decrease the opacity, something like that. So now this way you got some really nice shading. So this way you don't need to select a different kind of colors and complicate yourself. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you can see how it's going to look.
And there you go, guys. Finally, it's done. Everything is done. And I wanted to do some animation on this, but probably next time. But at least now you know how to make this doodle cartoon looking illustrations on models here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.